Okay. This gentleman, he lost his three sons in the war. They didn't fight against anybody. They were innocent and got killed. He's not only suffering because of their lust, also he should take care of their children. In one room, eight kids, orphaned. She said that uh, we were in very good conditions in Syria. We were working, we didn't need any help. So we, we are here in Lebanon, humiliated by life conditions. And she has three of her children. She doesn't know where they are. One of them is in jail in Syria. The other one, maybe he's dead by now. She doesn't know where he is. And she has a son here in Lebanon. Also, she doesn't know where he is. Her daughter, she has a mental illness. The, the doctor told her that her brain doesn't grow. She takes a lot of uh, medicine. She's half blind. She doesn't have money to go and see a doctor so she can uh, see in a clear way. Uh, every day she's losing uh, her vision. Every day she can't see. <laughs> لما بالشتي بينزل علينا الشتاء يعني بتروح علينا بتطوف علينا بروح بنام بيت حماي بعدين هون الشتاء واحد بيصير خير الله قدام البيت يعني الفرش هذيك المرة كمان غرادي كمان قالت له بيت حماي هذيك المرة تعبوا الشتاء وهذول كلياتهم مغزئين وما حط له شلحة من فوق يعني ما في غير النايلون من فوق ولما بيطلع هوا كمان بتهزها بتهز كلها يعني هذا براك السيدة يعني ما حاط له خشب يعني خشب ما فيه خشب ما طلع يعني قلت لهم هاي السنه ما طلع ما خشب يعني بس انه ما في غير شيء خمسه سته وهذا بركس كله بالحبال مربطينه ها بالحبال <تصفيق> Too bad place, very bad place. According to her, it was for animals, used for animals, cows. So he painted out a little bit. He spent one kg of paint, and now he's investing. He's renting for one hundred forty dollars monthly. People become greedy because of the crisis. They work in the field. They get the olive from the trees, they divide it with the landlord. <coughs> you see, the cough, the cold. We should help, we should provide shelter. We should re relocate them. How they collect money to enter to Europe? The refugees. They have nothing in here, but they have something in their country. So they sell it out. They sold their car, somebody sold their furniture, their animals, lamb, cows, also a piece of land. I heard yesterday that somebody offered a thousand square meter. In normal days, it cost five thousand dollars, but he asked for five hundred dollars only to spend it in his trip. It's good investment. It's a risk but good investment for many people. This area was empty here five years ago. All the buildings are demanded for shelter, not 
for business. So it's better investment now it's better investment. to have a Syrian uh, family living in a, in a house. You can make more money than opening a business. Of course. So the refugee crisis in Lebanon is not only uh, making the Lebanon losing money and losing opportunities, but some people actually benefit for, from uh, from from the crisis. Of course. And make money out of the refugees. Yeah. Niektórzy z tych uchodźców są tutaj ponad 3 lata. Są uchodźcami, ale jednocześnie życie toczy się dalej. Wychodzą tutaj za mąż, żenią się, starsi ludzie umierają, dzieci się rodzą, dzieci chodzą do szkoły. Bardzo duża część dzieci niestety nie chodzi do szkoły. No to może być ogromny problem. Niestety sytuacja materialna jest taka w Libanie, że sporo rodzin nie ma możliwości. Przez brak środków, ale też przez brak czasem świadomości problemu, jakim może być to, że w tym kraju może wyrosnąć pokolenie Syryjczyków, którzy nigdy nie byli w szkole że nigdy nie, niczego się nie nauczyli. People here, when they see that there is less money coming from the international organizations and the opportunities for work decrease, they try to find better life somewhere else, being this Beirut, Turkey or Europe.